Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Should you use the drop down to choose your reference table in lookup? Is this is a good practice or not? So by asking this question, they, what they want to know? First of all, they want you to know uh, what is the lookup? Lookup is the is is the transformation that we use to join the data when in the let's say we have some source data come in uh, we are reading from um, OLADB source or Excel or uh, maybe flat file and uh, you know different sources and then uh, we want to join uh, some data on the get do different columns you know or we just want to match up and say okay if the data is matching and we want to uh, let the data go into destination and uh, if not matching we want to redirect that so lookup is the transformation that gives us a reference data and we can uh, join our source data with the reference uh, uh, data and uh, then <laughs> perform this operation and we can get the new column or we can uh, perform a redirection of uh, rows uh, depending upon matching or no matching so drop in if you are using the lookup uh, so it gives you option exactly the same way what you see in the other drop down such as uh, OLEDB source. So let me open SSDT or bids and uh, create a real quick scenario right here. So we are using data flow task and then uh, we are reading data from the OLEDB source. Uh, that's uh, connecting to SQL Server and then I'm using customer table. And then uh, let's bring the lookup transformation and see what we have here. And connect your OLEDB source, that's the SQL Server table data. And then here we are using full partial. We are just leave this one as it is for now. And uh, here connect on the OLEDB connection manager. That's what we have here. Uh, go to connection and now select uh, the drop down for a table or view. That's exactly the question is, will you select, uh, let's say your da reference data that you want to use is in the customer underscore AS. Will you just uh, select from the drop down or you will use uh, the results of a query? So right now, if I click here, I even don't know how many column it has. Let's connect it here. And in this case, uh, it has all those IDs, uh, first name, last name and reference and all that. I want to match on the ID, consider that. And only I'm interested to get the region code from the lookup or from the reference data set. So in this case, I'm joining an ID. I'm a, I need only the region code. Um, so that there are two columns as actually I'm using. By selecting this one in a drop down, what's happening? I am actually bringing the entire data from the table into the memory. So they want to know the best practices. You know about the lookup. You do not want to bring all the data if you do not need uh, and uh, you are putting uh, pressure on the resources of your uh, server so they want you to understand what is the memory in a uh, journal in on a server installed and how the lookup work uh, so with the full cache no cache and partial cache so by default let's say if you are dropping getting the full, full table that have 100 column and that has million records so you think about that how much uh, um, data you are putting in the memory because uh, if you're using full cache it's going to bring uh, entire uh, data into the memory before even the process gets started um, for the from the source to the lookup so make sure uh, you do not use uh, you know these drop downs from here if you need to always write a query and select the columns uh, that th they are required in our case uh, we only need id and region code so those are the only two columns we should uh, uh, you know must select from the table and uh, then we, sh we we can always join them on the columns here uh, the same way we did for the table so th that remember best practices uh, in the lookup transformation that that's the question related to that one and uh, you always mention that uh, you always follow best practices and uh, you select what you need and th that goes same for everything so you are selecting data from a so the OLEDB source uh, that's a SQL Server table if you need only to <clears throat> excuse me um, r write uh, five records uh, five columns uh, to the destination why you select 50 columns so in the view or um, in the table whatever you select from the um, OLEDB source or a Oracle table or you know any table uh, always select the columns what you need and uh, don't don't bring everything uh, to the SSIS and uh, you know we waste the resources thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video